Jeff Bezos is reportedly buying one of the biggest yachts ever. And people can't get over the fact that it costs $400 million. Let's check it out. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. For this video, we will talk about Jeff Bezos' mega yacht, the Flying Fox. But before anything else, please leave a like on the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell down below so you won't miss our videos. Without any further ado, let's hop right onto the video. Jeff Bezos is reportedly buying a mega yacht in its most literal sense. And this is not an ordinary yacht that a billionaire would buy. It even has its own name called the Flying Fox. Flying Fox is a motor yacht with a length of 136 meters. The yacht's builder is Larsen from Germany, who delivered super yacht Flying Fox in 2019. The super yacht has a 22.5 meter beam, a 1.5 meter draft, and a capacity of 9,022 GT. Espinino International designed the exterior of the Flying Fox, while Mark Berryman Design Limited designed the interior and Larsen Yachts designed the naval architecture. On board the super yacht Flying Fox, up to 22 guests can be accommodated, as well as 54 staff members, including the skipper. Flying Fox is a steel-hulled yacht with an aluminum superstructure. The ship is propelled by two MTU engines. The Flying Fox super yacht is ranked number 20 on the list of the world's largest boats. She is Larsen's 10th largest yacht to date, the owner of the boat Flying Fox is featured on SYTIQ, which is only available to subscribers. It was so controversial that it is featured in 23 yacht news articles. The good news is that for around $4 million per week, the rest of us, or some of us, can share Flying Fox. She is the largest yacht available for charter due to its length. She was delivered in 2019 and boasts about every opulent comfort imaginable. In a sense, she doesn't just raise the bar, she raises it even higher. Flying Fox took three years to construct and was designed for private usage, but with the possibility of charter. The owner wanted to make sure he didn't forget anything from his previous two vessels. Imperial Yachts oversaw the construction and is now in charge of the charter. The original design process was about finding the balance between what the client was expecting and what was possible in terms of technology. Eric LePengel, Imperial's head of sales and charter, told Rob Report during an exclusive virtual tour, the idea of having a meticulously designed yacht that also delivers on a technological front really pleased him. Flying Fox is defined by the convergence of technology and pleasant living, not by her sheer size. By night, a vast sun deck transforms into a dance floor, complete with live music, private dining, and fireworks for the ultimate party. One of the design's most notable achievements is the 1,300-foot two-decked therapeutic spa. Flying Fox is defined not by her sheer size, but by the intersection of technology and pleasurable living. A large sun deck becomes a dance floor at night, complete with live music, private dining, and fireworks for the ultimate party. The 1,300-foot two-decked therapeutic spa is one of the design's most significant achievements. Cryotherapy is typically favored by elite athletes for muscle regeneration. When he's on board, the owner enjoys kite surfing, jet skiing, and diving, says LePengel. He wants to be able to recover quickly. He also wants charter guests to be able to enjoy any activity. So the yacht is designed to anticipate all requirements. Adjacent to the Zen-themed spa is the dive center, which includes a three-person decompression chamber and the option to dive depths of up to 328 feet. To date, our charter guests have enjoyed diving depths of no more than 165 feet, says LePengel. But if people want to push their limits, we can help them do that in the most secure way possible. The 54 staff members on board contribute to this ethos. Former Olympic sportsmen and ex-British military instructors teach sports, gym, and diving. The helicopter has a dedicated pilot and engineer, and the onboard hospital has a permanent medic. Most of the crew are typically ex-military because the owner believes military personnel have discipline and experience that normal crew don't, says LePengel. Espin Eno designed the boat's curvy and remarkable exterior, which contains a 39-foot swimming pool, extra-wide swim platform, beach club, on-deck jacuzzi and sun deck, as well as a beauty shop and grilling space. 
a 13,000 square foot spa with a hammam, sauna, massage area and gym is also available. For good measure, the yacht also has two helipads because you never know who might be flying in for a visit. An open air gallery is another need of the owner. Tender, pizza, barbecue and two rotisseries are among the five types of ovens which are joined by two teppanyaki grills and a 24 seat alfresco eating space. Its five chefs cater to a variety of diets and cuisines, all of which are freshly cooked in plain sight. One of the rotisseries can fit an entire lamb, says Lapangle. The banquet opportunities are exceptional. Flying Fox is a PYC class yacht that can accommodate up to 25 guests and has a crew to guest ratio of two to one. On the main deck, the 328 square foot master bedroom spans the entire 74 foot beam width and has a dedicated salon, gas fire pit and private jacuzzi, one of three on board. Even the 20 foot irrigated trees on board get plenty of water. There's no need to have cabin fever if you become antsy on the expansive deck. In case you need to visit any surrounding islands, the Flying Fox has a small fleet of nine tenders, a professional dive facility and a wealth of recreational items, including our four sea dew jet skis, four sea bobs, kayaks, paddle boards, and four Vespa GTS Super 300s. The boat is no slouch when it comes to performance, despite its massive size. The super yacht can reach a top speed of 20 knots and cruises at 15 knots, according to Imperial. Flying Fox has largely traveled the Eastern Mediterranean, with the owner's favorite destinations being Turkey and Greece. Last winter, the yacht spent time on the Maldives, northernmost atolls. She is now in port in the Mediterranean and will be sailing to Croatia this summer, where Imperial may arrange a charter. Back in 2019, rumors began to circulate online that the Amazon founder and CEO bought the Flying Fox super yacht. This speculation kicked off after journalist Yashir Ali posted a picture of the yacht docked in Datka, Turkey to his Twitter feed. In the since deleted tweet, Ali referred to the Flying Fox as Jeff Bezos' new yacht. According to Insider, the journalist tweeted about Bezos having the boat after seeing an Instagram post by jewelry designer Lori Rodkin, claiming the boat belonged to the internet magnate. Since then, the caption has been changed. However, it appears that none of this is correct. According to a source familiar with the case, Bezos does not own the Flying Fox and has never been on board. A comment from Amazon was also published by Insider, denying that the billionaire ever owned the yacht. Of course, a man with Bezos' wealth doesn't need to buy the Flying Fox in order to enjoy some quality time on board. The boat is part of Monaco-based Imperial's collection of yachts, and it's available for hire, as Rob Report reported in June. However, it goes without saying that with Bezos' net worth, he can afford it, and he will if he wants to. We want to hear your thoughts on this. What do you think of the Mega Yacht? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off for now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.